actually still have James Carafano with us, Vice oh. President of National Security and Foreign Policy from the Heritage Foundation. And James, again, we, we may have to interrupt you, of course, as the president takes the stage. But, you know, as we're waiting to hear from the president, what is fascinating really is how far we have come in such a short amount of time. Well, I mean, I give credit to the president because he put the right strategy underneath this. So it's really key to listen for in the press conference is not the document, because frankly, the document's kind of a nothing burger. All that stuff's been said before. What's really important is the, the U.S. strategy underneath that. And we really need to focus on the three no's. No compromise to the strategy of maximum pressure. No walking away from the requirement for CVID, comprehensive, verifiable, irreducible removal of nuclear weapons from North Korea. And no Iran deal. This has got to be a treaty. As long as we don't hear the president in the news conference or the U.S. going forward compromise on any of those things, then we have a safety net that guarantees U.S. interests regardless of how the diplomacy unfolds. But he so had to Kim promise goes, him something, James. I'm sorry, but they, we, they, we knew we had to come to the table. And frankly, right. the fact that that meeting face-to-face -face was only 38 minutes tells me that there was something baked into this whole face-to-face -face summit. Because you've got 38 minutes with two right. leaders and translators. How much right. are you going to say? That, I think that's right. I mean, when, if you look at it forensically, and you're right, because when you translate, you think pretty much cut the time in half. So that meant, you know, they really had somewhere between half an hour, 20 minutes, followed by a few hours. There's no way that they were going to sit down and write that letter out. Uh, uh, and, and that language looks very familiar because we've seen it before. So both sides have been through that. So, so you really think they went there baked, which one of the things it tells you is all the criticism like, oh, Trump's just making it up. He's just winging it. None of that was really true. Obviously, both sides knew going in exactly what was going to happen here? Well, and that's because of Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. To be very clear, the man's been on the job now for right. six weeks, and he has pulled off something I think that we can all say is incredible. I mean, this is a summit that was on, and then it was off, and then it was back on again. To your point about preparation,